Um, so we have some more streamer news. We have more streamer news. This one is involving more suspensions, not bans, but suspensions. I know we keep saying ban, you know, this, this account is called streamer bans. <laughs> and every now and then you'll catch an actual ban, but, <laughs> but this is a suspension. So, um, a streamer by the name of Frogan, I believe I've seen her before, but I am not familiar with her content. Um, I saw a clip rolling around of something that she said, and we will get to it if you have not seen it before. But I want to start off with this tweet uh, that she posted um, after getting banned. She said 30 day ban for saying people like bottom of the barrel hummus, but other people get two weeks for advocating for the genocide of Palestinians. So once again, someone is getting suspended because of their comments about what's going on over there in Palestine and Gaza. I, I've said it before when we talked about Asmongold. I don't understand why we continue to talk about it in such a manner, especially on Twitch, where multiple people have already gotten suspended or outright banned for this type of controversial topics. I don't know why we just for some reason just avoid it, like talk about it amongst yourself. I understand that you want to raise awareness, especially if you're from there, if you have family who's still over there. I totally understand that. But the things that are being said, I've said it once again, you got to watch what you say. I do not care how angry you are. I do not care how educated you feel that you are. This is a highly controversial and volatile topic. There are lots of people who are outright passing away from whatever's going on over there, right? So the thing that you say, you cannot get upset if the consequences are you get suspended or banned. Like, and it's as simple as that. So if you're going to talk about it, just watch what you say. Like, I'm not saying anything crazy about it. Like I've said before, I don't know really much about it. I feel like I'm not even in the right to talk about it. This is something that I stay in my own lane. All right. I stay in my own lane. What up, Sip? So again, it's the same situation that happened with Asmund and it's happening to her. And she says she has family over there. So again, I understand that she's even more passionate about it. Right. She's even more passionate about it. Rightfully so. But let's go ahead and get to what was said because Again, she was being cheeky here. She was trying to be cheeky and said she got a 30 day ban for saying people like bottom of the barrel hummus. That is not why you got banned, honey, or it's not why you got suspended, honey. And you know that. So stop playing dumb. This is that. I mean, you already got suspended for saying something stupid, but now is not the time to be cracking jokes or playing dumb, acting like this is the reason that you got banned. Let's look at the reason why she got banned. Let's let's go ahead and listen to it real quick because I saw this before you know all the other stuff went down before she even got banned i saw this particular clip here i have no pity at all for any fucking soldiers distress thank you so much i will never have any fucking pity for any fucking soldiers u.s military boo fucking who i hope you get ptsd meanwhile she's in america y'all i just want to i just want to point that out if you didn't know meanwhile she's in america so yeah. You know? I I do the ones I do I the ones I'm like whatever about the US soldiers are the ones that like acknowledge that like what they did was wrong. They didn't know well back they didn't know back then. Whatever. You're you're a good person in my book. Oh my god, Tom, thank you so much for the 10 gifted. So and she got gifted sub during it is. Don't y'all think that's ironic? She got gifted 10 sub, so you can already tell with somebody from, from her community who's like, yeah, that's that's a great thing to say. Like, nah, you gotta check, you gotta check these streamers, bro. I'm I'm sorry. You gotta check them. I don't care how much you like somebody. When somebody say something like that, check them. If I say something stupid, check me. I will give you the full right. I'll give you full right. Check me if I say something stupid. So the the US military that are like, yeah, like 
you know, I did this back then, but now I know it's wrong. Like, I'm changed. Like, fuck imperialism. Fuck this. You don't deserve the PTSD. But, like, any other motherfucker, you're joining them. You're like, oh, my God, I want my fucking Camaro. No student loans. Fuck you. I hope you get PTSD. And I hope you get no health insurance when you get back into fucking America. Said it with a whole chest, too, y'all. She said it. She said it with her whole chest. What what else? It's it's clear. It's in 4K, right? It's in 4K. Why would you say something like that, right? Why would you say something like that? Like, again, I don't know what was going on beforehand. I don't know if she just saw something else that was going on. I don't know if somebody in her stream said something. I don't know if she was reacting to Asthma Goat. I'm not, you know, I don't know that context because I ain't watched the stream. I'm just looking at the clip. But something obviously pissed her off. Something obviously pissed her off to the point where she said this. And again, I understand she's passionate. I understand you may have family over there that's going through some stuff right now, but still, this does not give you the right. Like, I don't like this whole play, fi play fire with fire stuff and being petty. Like, regardless of how you feel about war, about military period, not just American military, but military period and war. For you to wish that American soldiers get PTSD and don't get insurance when they get back is it's just terrible it makes you a terrible human being i'm sorry and you feel like they're terrible human beings for doing what they're doing but then you come back and say this on live where everybody can see where everybody clipped it and and now you got suspended so play stupid games win stupid prizes right and oh no it it gets worse y'all it gets worse this was another one i didn't see this clip until just recently okay 6250 9-11 baking stream with Raph and Capri. If we get to this goal by 9-11, Capri, Raph, and I will make the Twin Towers out of a stacked cake and we'll make an airplane and we'll recreate 9-11. Hardy hard hard. That's so funny. That that's so funny. That that's very that's very funny. That's very funny. I I laugh. I laugh, chat. This is what I'm saying, bro. You can you can excuse that first example all you want. You can say, ha, ha, I agree with it. This one? You gotta be out of your mind. You gotta be warped in the head. I'm just saying, like, it doesn't get any better. It doesn't get any better. And motherfuckers think this is funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. And she's in America. You know how they say to black people all the time? You know, all the races go go back to go go to another country. Go back to Africa if you don't like this country. All the veterans die so you can so you can be here and have freedom. This would apply to her too, but she's talking shit about American truth. But you live in America because you're safe over here. Regardless of how you feel about the troops, they did what they did so we can live in peace right now. It's a way that we compare PTSD to genocide and calling the entire race of Cammy. Oh, Cammy, are we really? Oh, God. Cammy, please. Cammy, please. Cammy, please. I literally just had this conversation with somebody on Twitter. Literally. And AB knows exactly what I'm talking about exactly what i'm talking about we are not comparing what they said that has nothing to do with this conversation both things are bad both things are true both people got the consequence of getting suspended it does not matter you are trying to compare apples to oranges when it doesn't matter please <laughs> like abby do not face me off right now Anyways, so like I said, like when I saw this, I said, oh, I said she she was really wilding. She was really wilding when she said this, like her and her friends party hard hard. Like I was going to make a Twin Tower cake and then make it like not it's, it's like 9-11. Who's laughing at that? I'm just saying, who's laughing at that? So it's crazy. So, all right. So she followed up with this, right? She followed up. Well, actually, this was beforehand. This was this was actually the day before. She said the U.S. military has conducted some of the most horrific crimes against humanity in the modern era in countries such as Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, Lebanon and Palestine. 
my anger is directed at individuals who are currently championing uh, championing these war crimes as if they liberated my people it's horrific and disgusting the beginning of the clip was worded poorly and i do apologize for that it wasn't worded poorly it wasn't worded poorly honey <laughs> you said what you said with your whole chest it wasn't worded poorly wishing wishing ptsd and people don't get their health benefits when they come back that wasn't worded poorly but anyway let's continue um and i do apologize for that i go on to clarify in the clip that i do not mean all military but specifically those with no remorse what i said was out of frustration and they are currently bombing my family in the name of liberation i realized that wishing people harm isn't the best way to talk about these issues clearly not and now you know why and that i could have talked about these topics in a more sensitive way so that was her that was her statement before the ban actually happened all right so um i'm gonna say this right i'm gonna say this and, and this is going to be my stance forever i don't ever think that war is is cool i don't think that war is necessary I don't like anything that's going on. I don't care who's involved. You know, fortunately, America is the world police. So in some form or fashion, we always get involved in whatever conflicts are happening, right? I don't like war. I don't like guns. I don't like weapons, like none of that stuff, like uh, fantasy stuff, like fiction, video games is cool. But in real life, I, I don't I don't play with that stuff, man. I don't I don't play with that stuff. I don't like it. I don't own any guns. And I want to honestly feel like I don't have to own any guns. You know, if it comes to that situation, yes, I am down to defend my myself and my family, but if it was up to me, I I wouldn't own any guns ever, right? I wouldn't go own, own any guns ever. So whatever's going on, it is what it is. But I personally, I'm I'm against all of it. I'm I'm against all of it, and I don't I I don't have any problems with our troops. I don't have any you know direct problems with our troops. I wish it didn't have to come today. I wish there was no military at all, but it is what it is. You know, we found out hundreds of years ago that this is what we needed to do. So we loaded up and now we're a superpower, right? So it is what it is. I can't do anything about it, but that's just my stance. So in a way, yes, I mean, she was telling the truth here. Yes, she was telling the truth here, but that still does not give you the right to react and say, what you said and wish ptsd and harm on folks who don't even know who you are i get that she's specifically targeting with her statement the people who are championing killing people i understand that that's what she, that's what her intention was but still for the people who are doing that just I know it's going to be very difficult for her. I know it's going to be very, very difficult for her because she said she has people over there. But you just, you just gotta, you just gotta brush that off because I mean they're pieces of shit. I mean obviously the people who are championing this stuff, they're pieces of shit. But it, there's no way that your statement is going to have people who either have military people in the military who are active military. Or people who just respect and love our troops to not get offended. They're going to get offended because maybe some of those people are the people who, they're, who you're talking about. Who you're trying to target. So this is not the right way to go about it. And I'm just going to hope and pray that just like Asmund Gold and anybody else who unfortunately cannot talk about this situation in, in a civil manner. I hope that they all can learn from from what's what's happening from the consequences of what they're saying i've told y'all before even the ask my goal situation you can't just say whatever you want freedom freedom must be chain free you're on other people's platforms and they reserve the right to terminate you at any point it's in the contract that we don't read <laughs> right that we don't read I don't know, give her what she said, but I understand the anger. Yes, I said I understand. I I understand. I understand. Um, she also I, I need to go back to this. She put this here because this is what she got. 
as the reason why she got suspended um say targeting another person with discrimination or uh, denigration based on their protected characteristics uh veterans or a protected class by the way along with you know specific uh races ethnicities and whatnot examples of volatile conduct include but are not limited to said but are not limited to that's very important I, like i said words are important uh insulting the individual with a slur based on their ethnicity asserting that another stream is mentally inferior because of their gender as my goal said an entire culture was inferior uh claiming that another person is a danger to society because of their religion so again not is but are not limited to i want to make sure that we are that we are you know clear there um so so that's that um but yes veterans are a protected class so that's why um so to go back to what cammy said right so to go back to what cammy said a lot of people are they are not understanding the point here of why she said this because she immediately and i said this on twitter as well i was like i was like yeah you know don't don't play dumb about what you said and and it's typical of you because it happens all the time when someone gets in trouble then they start pointing fingers and they say hey well that person over there did this so why do i get a more severe ban than them this is a test as old as time it always happens especially in the twitch world right this has been going on for years even back to when uh when the ethos were running rampant right and they were like well why don't you ban them and twitch you know if it gets too far if you you know have a nip slip if you if you're showing your uh showing your vajayj all on the on on the screen then you know a lot of times those streamers got one day bans three day band seven day bands like we made a whole thing of it call it you know just give them a little vacation they'll come back right and people were like well why don't you give them more severe band why don't you ban them from from the site period and switch has in some cases banned people some people were comparing um these situations to being in a courtroom you know dealing with the judge and yes it could be the same situation like hey well, why does why does someone who you know sold a little weed gets 10 years in jail but someone who killed somebody in a hit and run gets a lesser sentence this is going to continue to happen and again i am not saying that it is right when those situations happen but when we when we focus so much on comparing offenses then that diminishes and sometimes depending on whether you think some a crime is uh is justified or not or whether it's a crime it outright bans it it outright eliminates the other crime and again i want to focus on what both of them did because obviously she talked about two weeks um that was as my goal for advocating the genocide of palestinians so she immediately went to him it was like why did i get a month but he got two weeks what you both did are wrong and that's the point you know in sentence right it's not comparing what each other did because at that point People are like, oh yeah, she's right. Why did you get 30 days? But but he did it. But y'all look what she's saying. It doesn't matter how severe you think it is, because it's all subjective at the end of the day. It's all subjective, but both things are wrong. Both things are wrong. And now and that was the point I'm trying to make here. Because what she's saying is trying to deflect and trying to say, oh, woe is me. I'm the victim here because what I did, I don't think that was as bad as wishy genocide on the entire group, uh, race of people. So therefore, I should have gotten a, a smaller sentence or not gotten a sentence at all. And that's not the case. No. What you said got you to ban. And I cannot say, because I'm not Twitch, I cannot say what was the reason why you got a, a, a more harsh ban than asthma gold. I don't know just like a lot of times we don't know in the courtroom this is just what they decided so you have to take it as is appeal it if you want to but this is where we're at okay i don't want to focus on this because i feel like this is a moot point it's a moot point to compare both of what you said is wrong both of you got suspended and that's that and I don't feel sorry for for the people who are losing money because of it. Because it's in it's in the TOS. It's in the TOS. So 
if you wanted to go there, then then you got to deal with it. So I wonder why they don't just hand out the same amount of time to everyone. Um, again, going back to my to my court situation and, you know, comparing the fences there. Um, it's it's that's just that's just not that's just not plausible. It's just not plausible. I Again, I know we're dealing with Twitch here, but they also have to compare. And again, I don't know what their metrics are. If we knew, if we had more transparency, which Twitch claimed that they were going to do, um, because they said that they were going to actually let people know what they did, like exactly what they did before they got banned. Um, I don't see that happening, or at least not what the people who have been banned or suspended recently have have seen or shared with us. So I don't know, but they did claim that they will provide more transparency on why someone got banned uh, rather than you know just what she what she screenshotted here so i don't know i hope i never get to see to be honest because <laughs> i don't want to deal with it i don't want to be the next person that gets that gets banned i remember i did get suspended one time i got suspended one time in my life y'all believe it i got suspended one time in my life on twitch and y'all y'all know uh, i don't know all the ogs y'all remember why i got suspended <laughs> Uh, the army why I got suspended. I got suspended for like I, I think it was I think it might have been a day or 12 hours, maybe. Maybe. I don't think it's weird to one get three weeks and only get some month. It's interesting. Hey, you say you do think it's weird. I mean, but like I said, I don't want to focus on that though, because I mean because we'll never know unless we're Twitch staff themselves. And again, I don't know. I don't know their metrics. I don't know their metric. I don't know. I don't know what's considered more more offensive than than others. I don't know. I don't know, but um so she's not uh not sorry for the band nah it don't sound like it. it it doesn't sound like it i mean like i said she tried to get an apology but it doesn't sound like she's sorry just like asthma asthma go say my bad <laughs> and then he made a whole video said i'm leaving you know <laughs> and then <laughs> at least asthma go started cleaning at least he started cleaning he's, he's giving us his progress man the world is healing he actually started cleaning up his his house finally Are we not focusing on on it is weird though but that but that's not my point because we're getting into a whole different conversation here i don't want to get into that because again we're we're talking about what ifs right and again it, my comparison keep going back to the courtroom we're, we're we're wondering what else and we're gonna go around in circles because we don't know there's nothing clear cut there's nothing clear cut so like i said i don't feel like we should just continue to to harp on it because we're not going to get anywhere we're just going to continue to talk in circles we're going to continue to talk in circles I just wanted to bring this up and talk about it because so many people are trying to talk or uh, focus on that instead of what was actually being uh, what was actually said. And I want people to focus more about what was said and why both of them got suspended rather than trying to say, hey, well, why did I get 30 days and this person only got two weeks? And we both said said some messed up stuff or trying to, again, diminish diminish what I did and then point fingers at the other person we're not getting anywhere it's not productive either it's not a productive conversation we're never going to know unless we're twitch staff we're never going to know okay so so that's that that's that um did i have anything else to say about this conversation i don't think so says she a slob oh man people are going in on her man i actually felt bad for her for for a split second for a split second first of all she was she was eating on streams those <laughs> oh they memed the hell out of her they call her gaza the hut Oh, they play they put lipstick <laughs> they put lipstick on job i was like oh my god they were calling her all types of fat like dang man they they were going in on her apparently she was bigger i saw like some some earlier pictures but she lost weight so now they said that she was on ozempic because you know every time somebody all of a sudden loses weight they say that they're on ozempic so yeah they were they were going in on her man they were going in on her they had absolutely no remorse because they were like well you don't got no remorse for for american troops so so why should we have any remorse for you? So like literally every single time that she tweeted, she ended up uh you know turning off. <laughs> she turned off her tweets so, so nobody could reply. It got so bad. I was just like, damn man. And then the one thing that was said was objectively worse than the other, but that's your opinion. Again, Cammy, I don't know. Is this a girl thing right now? Like, is this a girl thing, Cammy? Like, uh, like we're still going back to this. <laughs> like, like it doesn't matter. It's all subjective. Who cares? Who cares? Both of them are bad. To a larger picture, do you think this breeds greater division amongst all things? Unfortunately, I, I do think so. Unfortunately, I do think so. I know we're in a weird, a very weird place. 
just in the world period we're in a very weird place but specifically america because again we're a melting pot so again you have people who live here who are who are directly dealing with that situation over there so and then we got we got elections coming up coming up which i voted by the way yesterday so um so yeah it's it's a lot going on this is this is always a very tough time like election time as it's, it's a as a whole just historically it's a rough time and a lot of people are just getting their issues off and yes it, it is going to cause a lot of division and if trump getting in office is going to cause even more division I don't, I don't i'm not trying to deal with that for another four years man that we don't vote for another two weeks yeah i, I early vote <coughs> excuse me early voted i think that the issue with the fact that uh speaking of muslim genocide and subject Did he delete his main Twitch channel? I don't think he did, but he doesn't stream from that channel. He streams on the Zach the Zach Grar channel. That's his. That's actually his main Twitch channel. I don't know why he did that. Somebody said that he doesn't stream on his main um, Twitch channel because he had a problem with like the monetization system or emotes or something. Like so I don't know if that was true or not. But in any case, um, so that's that. Um, let's move on to the next topic. Let's move on to the next topic. And I don't wanna I don't wanna sit on here and harp on this for for a long time. But that's just my you know, that's my thoughts on it. When you say I don't want people to constantly focus on, you know, what what was the worst thing that was being said. Cause again, that's counterproductive at this point. It's very counterproductive and it, it's going to get us nowhere. She got 30 days, as my goal got two weeks, and it's not any of our business for real. They they have to deal with it themselves. And as my goal, at least she's cleaning. At least she's cleaning in, in those two weeks. <laughs> He's off of Twitch, so like I said, at least, at least something positive came out of him saying that. But you know, I'll agree with what he said either. I have my thoughts on that. And it's not a, it's not a matter of my opinion or your opinion on what was worse. Because again, that's subjective. Oh, so, he, so did he delete the Zach one? I don't know. I don't know. No, it doesn't. When you get suspended, then it doesn't come up in the search. When you get suspended, you don't come up in the search. Or when you try to look for it by by direct name, it'll it'll pull up that ghost and say, you know, the, the channel that you're looking for does not exist. So I don't think he deleted it. It's just that's what Twitch does. They just literally make the channel unavailable. You can't even click on it. It will yeah, it'll just say it's not there. So 